Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make this funky looking AR-15. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing and clicking the bell to get notified once I upload a new video. So this is going to be my last project from the season 1, I have decided to call it like that. It implies uh, and combines all the rifle models I have made in this particular scale. And the last one is also the most detailed and my favorite one as well, which is this AR-15. The next thing is that I have placed this um, uh, middle portion of the rifle where the barrel is going to cool down and at the same time you will have rails and other attachment places for it. Many ARs have different length of this uh, detail, but I have decided to make a medium slash larger version of it. I think that looked better. And here is the middle part, I mean uh, the main part of the uh, rifle uh, body, uh, so to say done in the uh, near the end. And the last part of course is going to be a stock. Uh, so you can see it is quite narrow, it is quite narrow in the real life as well, but still I will have to reinforce it and make some um, more details on it. And here is the magazine as well as the handle and the trigger. It was quite tough to make this magazine, which as you can see it is quite detailed. And at the same time you have uh, the idea of the color differences I have chosen for them. Um, if you go to many Call of Duty or CSGO play, uh, games, you will see all these funky paint jobs and stuff on the guns. I'm not a big fan of that, but still was quite of happy to make this different colored version of this rifle. And here you can see almost uh, assembled version of it. I have also added some um, rails, more particularly uh, four of them, more specifically four of them which are situated on four different uh, uh, dimensions around this grip and at the same time there is the stock place which I'm going to on which I'm going to build the stock and also make sure that the top layer of the rails go all the way before the stock starts and here are the some details I have attached to it uh, the more details you do for the rifle the more complex it will look but of course you can always overdo it like if you place uh, uh, like flashlight laser sights under um, grip grenade launcher a bayonet uh, like optical uh, target system and all those stuff it will look really strange and i was like thinking not to overdo it and be as conservative as possible but at the same time have some kind of basic cool uh, gadgets on it and yeah the, those are the three main pieces for it and here is the final product already assembled i'm quite happy with this result this is my best version of the season one uh, rifles so to say and the rounding effect feels the least here by the rounding effect i mean when you are making something out of clay in the small scale uh, they unfortunately often have quite round uh, corners and round details in places where they should have been pointier. So that effect is not that obvious here and that makes and that uh, alongside with all those details makes this rifle feel better in my opinion than my previous ones. And yeah, this will be my last video of this scale. I will be continuing doing um, rifles uh, time by time of course uh, as you suggest or I have the cool modern or inspiration also I was thinking about making the uh, video game rifles um, uh, and I by that I mean futuristic rifles not the real ones uh, from maybe Gears of Wars, Crisis and other futuristic games like Dead Space and so on and if you're interested in that make sure to comment down below Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. It was the last one of my season 1 rifle model series, a real rifle model series.
and I will be uh, waiting for your suggestions for the fictional ones. Have a nice day, and see you next time. Goodbye.